I got this. Hmm. Five of those. Okay. Okay, it's still showing nine people, so I'm gonna leave the squad and rejoin it. So, Hollow and our thief. How much do you know about this fight? Do you need like a full explanation or just a bit? I can see all ten people now, you can put me back in the group if you want. If so, then the sacrifices at okay. Salvation Pass were meant to heal him. Thanks, Bard. I can't read what you posted in chat at all. Oh, okay. I see. Basically... Okay. I need to mute. Whoever is typing right now, please stop. Phantasms will spawn on the statues behind you. You see, there's like a lot of statues on the walls. We need to kill these phantasms below the boss. Whenever they spawn, someone gets fixated. It's like on Slothazor, you have like a purple icon above your head. Number one, rule number one, if you are fixated, if you have that purple icon above your head, no matter what happens, it, like it doesn't matter, you're staying below the boss. Okay, good. The next thing, like, you're pulling the phantasm towards you. Okay, that's why. So we always want to kill these below the boss. You will always stay with the tank during the normal phase. So you, the tank has the attack icon, uh, the command attack. So you just follow me around. Yes, we want to AOE both of them down. The boss will be on the statue, it's kind of the same thing. But yeah. This goal is... The boss has two stacks. Each phantasms, phantasm removes a stack, and we want to kill two phantasms, and then we phase them. Your damage is not that important in that phase, simply because later on there's a burn phase where the boss takes massive amounts of increased damage. So we're mainly aiming towards that. If your DPS is single target, I want you to focus the Phantasm more than the boss. It's really important we get the Phantasm down fast. Okay, that's it. So what happens other than that? The boss will get a CC bar. As soon as the second Phantasm dies below him, we CC him face and the phase starts. I will explain the phase after two more things. There are two attacks that the boss does during the phase. One is he spawns, spawns shitloads of ants all around the arena, we ignore this and just DPS. When, however, there's a second attack and it's random which one he chooses to use. And the second one is everyone gets a big AOE below them. And you kind of run, like you want to not stack up, you run away. So you try to not overlap these AOEs. So you're kind of running all over the arena, just try to not kill other people with it. The only exception is, as I said in the start, if you have the purple uh, marker for being fixated, you are below the boss together with the tank. These two are stacking. Nobody else is stacking. Only these two. So that's it. That's the normal. Then he goes into a phase. What happens in the phase? You see these three markers. On the three markers, green fields will spawn. If you're DPS, you stand on the arrow marker. If you're a support, meaning Chrono, Quick Run, Fire... Um, no, I guess the Quick Run and the Alacrigate should be on the arrow. Well, anyway, like the healers go to Hard, the Chrono goes to Circle, and Hollow, you also come to Circle with me. So two people need to stand in these green AOEs until they're gone, and that's it. Then the next phase starts. Next phase is Pushing. This phase is done pretty much by only one player. Everyone else stacks in the center and waits there. So what happens in the phase is there's an orb in the center. This orb needs to be pushed into rifts. There are five rifts all over the outside of the arena. And the orb is being pushed by auto-attacking. So only the pusher pushes that. People with pulls, and these people are Chrono, Firebrand, Necro, uh, yeah, Chrono Fiber and Necro. They assist with the pushing if they know how to. Other than that, you stand in the center, 
you don't stand right away in the center because the orb also spawns there and you're not allowed to hit it. So you wait for the orb to be pushed out of the center and then, yeah, you can stand there and AFK until the boss spawns. When the, when the pushing is done, the boss will spawn and take increased amount of damage. So that's when you want to have all your bursts. We need to do a lot of damage, so get your best DPS out. Mainly this fight is uh, power focused, so power DPS is what you want to have. Once that burn phase is done and we got him to a desired percentage, which is 66%, then you just... Um, what's it called? Uh, the the orb, um, a collection phase starts, so you collect orbs that go towards the boss. You will be marked either red or white. You can see the marker above your head and you collect an orb that has the same color. So what you do is you look at the boss, you keep hitting the boss even though you don't know damage because by hitting it you heal yourself. So what you do is just stand there, hit the boss and look when an orb comes from like an orb that has the same color is near you going towards the boss. You stand in between the boss and the orb so you can catch it. That's it. When that is done you follow the tank. I will call for it as well. Just like stack on tank several times and then these phases just repeat. That's it. That's the whole boss. Any questions? Corvo, do you have a push or a pull? No. Okay. Necro Blogo, you can also use your pull, yeah, by the way. That I got works that as well. I mean, Here's I have a push on now my recommends ECC. Lich form. For the burn phases. Basically, just follow the tank. Really, just like this fight is all about just stay wherever I am. When you see my tank moving somewhere, follow me. Aside from when we go into a phase. When we go into phase, then you have assigned positions. For example, hollow you with me on circle. DPS, arrow, healers, heart. Do we want to assign someone to swap with the people who aren't on arrow if they get the. Uh, anyone that wants to adjust okay. to it. But it's best that the elementalists do it. They have li right the lightning, they can just zoom over the map. Alright. Okay. Sure. Uh, Ray, have you done pushing yet or have you. I haven't. Like... I've only raided with you guys. Okay. Um, do you know how it works? I mean, you've done Xara, you've probably done some you pushing on Xara. Yeah, but you need to be careful. Like, the thing is, right, this is what a lot of druids do wrong. Um, you need to hit it from the outside to a rift, obviously, right? But then you need to stop hitting it. You need to stow your weapon. Otherwise, you keep pushing it towards the outside. So what you want to do is you hit it into a rift from the center, and then you need to reposition yourself to push it towards the next one without auto-attacking. So you use stow weapon, position yourself, and then keep then attack again. Okay? Okay. Hmm? What? Mm -hmm. what? What do you mean? No, the chrono, like, oh yeah, and that oh. ray as well. No, 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 no. The thing is, this is how it works. The chrono does the last pull. So, when you're halfway to the last rift, you go back, like, you use your teleport back to the center to start might stacking. And I will do the last pull. I will also say it like I do the pull now. And you just go back to the center really fast and start might stacking. Okay. Alright. Let me just get my build done and then we can go. Okay, 1400 toughness should be enough. You never know, just ask. Just in case. Well, 1250, 1250 should be the highest in the group. Yeah, I know. I just went a bit higher in case he has like wrong gear sets or something. Alright, so... Get your food in. And yeah. Don't forget to do all your big deeps. Let's go. Let me check. Uh, can someone GG? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, if other people help, I still don't get my special after. Thanks. 
Okay, got it. Well, well, well. It's quite ready. His return is imminent. Vilea, you're outside of my AoEs. You don't get any buffs like that. I have it. You need to stay on the stack if you want buffs. Okay, the boss is not following me. Oh, someone has more toughness than me. Firebrand. Uh, was it? I, you. I don't know, maybe it was just attacking someone because it seems to be falling. No, he uses a stone. Um, don't don't use stone. Like uh don't be. Now for example someone is fixed that if he needs to pull that oh, boss below, okay, that is Blargo. What are you doing, Blargo? I thought it was fixated on someone else, and I was going out to hit it because it wasn't coming in. Not good. Well, guess why it didn't. Ugh. I mean, Blogger, you should know this fight. I expect yeah. that everyone that knows this fight doesn't do mistakes. Wow. So don't take it easy. I'm a little bit triggered right now. Sorry about that. Bad. Okay, I'm just gonna go even more toughness. He can't go above 1500, right, uh, Corvo? Uh, he can't go above 1550. Oh boy. Yeah, I have more yeah. than 50-50 now. Because the Tom gives plus 300 for a few seconds. Oh, I thought it's 250. Ah, okay. And yeah, always keep stuck. If you guys are not stacked, you don't get any boons. Your souls belong to him. See, that looks beautiful. My arm is limitless. So now you can see the Satch is glowing, the Phantasm spawns, and now just cleave it down. Whoever is fixated, move on the other side of the boss, so that the phantasm goes inside. Yeah, exactly like that. That looks good. And now we just DPS the phantasm down. Focus the phantasm, please. CC. CC. Good. Go to your green circles. Hello, you with me, for example. Good. And keep, like the DPS, keep DPSing down the Phantasms. And now the pushing starts. There you go. You need to keep push. no, oh shite. You can't stop pushing anymore, Ray, eh, at that point. Okay. Like, you only do it once when you are... It's difficult to explain. Only on the first drift, then you need to keep attacking. Understood. Because the other Phantasms will catch up. Okay, CC. Uh... CC. Okay, good. Go to your positions. Just push it out. You need to push very faster. Push into one of them. My arm! Oh. It's 3% falling. Yeah, but that's zero. Yeah, we got it. Oh. Yeah, we got no offs. Oh, people are under us. We need quick heals okay, and reses. I'm almost dead. Like, Ray, while you're moving to the center, you need already... Like, you need to start attacking already. Only what you, you only don't attack when you're going towards the out... Uh, when you are 
pushing it into the first rift, because then you would push it into the outside area, which is not good. Okay, now remember, you need to follow the tank. He's on arrow right now. Now just stay here, do range DPS. If you have some sort of range skills for DPS, use them. Okay, now follow the tank again. Get on the thing. Yeah, we do the same thing again, we just DPS down the phantasms below. If you have single target DPS, focus it a bit on that. Whoever has targeted stays. Everyone else needs to move away. Okay, now move out a bit. Don't stand below it. Oh. CC. CC. Sure. Go into your circles. Ready to heal yourself. I will help you on the second drift, by the way. So that's like what, where you want to push it really fast. Choose the direction. Yeah, I will pull the next now. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Don't forget to heal yourself, you're slowly dying. Someone help with a no no someone help with a push or a pull. Oh, okay, I guess that didn't work. I guess it's cause my pull does oh, damage. It's Keep down the thing for me first. Don't let him merge. Okay, we got him done. So if we have good DPS, then we should be phased this guy. If we have bad DPS, then we should... Okay, that was good. Was a bit wonky because I didn't realize I was fixated. I was trying to help push. Yeah. So now only one thing changes. The phase will be almost the same. There's just one thing, and that is the boss will just jump into the air and disappear for like 10 seconds. Don't panic. His, like, he can still receive the phantasm uh, shit below himself. So what we're doing there is we will just stack where he went up and keep killing phantasms. Hold on, are you, are you 9 or 10 right now? We are currently in a raid, wait for after we're done with the boss. Okay. My arm is to the wall, guys. Follow the tank. Ah, oh, I pushed. So you can see, like, he went up right now. Just keep DPS saying, pull the phantasm right here. Into this corner. Whoever's fixated, stay. Whoever's fixated, stays now. It's picking me a lot. It likes me today. Okay, now focus the phantasm quickly, quickly. Phantasm needs to die very fast, otherwise we're wiped. Okay. Nope. It's a wipe. Okay. We can yeah, pray to you, God. Um, are you 10? Yeah, are you full? We can pray to God that. Uh, no, we're wiped. Fuck. Yeah, GG, it's. We have randoms right now, yeah. That's fine. Damn. In fact, I completely forgot it was Red Knight. <sighs> yes, I, I would like you to not forget it anymore. Shut Please. up, man. Shut up. Seriously. <laughs> Don't tell me to shut up right now. Don't tell me to forget something. Like, <laughs> not, not right now. You're doing that quite a lot. Oh, fuck off. Don't tell me to fuck off, man. He already left.
<sighs> yeah, don't let them kiss. Bad when the phantasms kiss. Also, Ray, if you want, you can equip a short bow or long bow, wherever. Like, there's a knockback on one of the bows. You can also equip that long if you want. Long bow is not bad. Is that the best oh, you can do? I get the hang of it. My this is my first time. I know. Logo, don't move ahead. I already told you. Ten so often. You're not the tank, it's not going to follow you. You can't escape! Okay. Fixated, fixated. Thief, you're fixated. Yep, exactly like that. You just stay here. And now you're focused on the Phantasm, because the next one is already spawning. So you need this one to die quick. And now CC. Good job. My construct is unstoppable. Keep your hands off that. Keep attacking. What are you doing? I'm going to pull halfway now. Is that guy? Fuck. We got four, that's good. Yeah, don't don't just stop attacking. Don't be afraid of what I said with the like Just wait for like push it into a rift. Like that's your first thing you do. Push it into a rift, and then stop attacking for a second. Just a short second, yeah. not even that long. Because like these phantasms, they will catch up to you. You're on a timer, so the more you wait, the hard, like, yeah, the harder it's going to be. Yeah. Like we don't have two chronos. If we had two chronos, you have all the time in the world. But we only have one chrono. I can uh. not, not assist you that much. And apparently, so pulls that do damage don't work. Two arrow. I guess we stand a bit to towards the right. To the statue. Okay, just focus the phantasm. We need that to die quick and go out a bit. There's an AOE below the boss right now. CC? CC, quick. Everyone CC, please. Good. Oh, shite. Oh, fuck. No, we lost him. It's not fun. Prepare to CC fast. We're not gonna make this. 
I hadn't stopped attacking though, is there anything else I should Ooh. do? Ooh, or that's bad. Oh, what, what is happening What are here? they doing? Why How did they, they get you? there? Okay, GG. That didn't make any sense. Like backpedaling all the way to the other one. I don't know. Oh, that's following. So, anyone who's DPS should be staying with the group right there and not follow the bus, by the way. Fix I did stay here. Can you move inside of the boss please? So the phantasm also moves inside of the oh, boss. Be very careful. Yep, we got a red one, GG. So what's your name? Montana, you didn't move inside of the bus. So what you need to do is you need to really move inside of the bus or on the opposite side of the bus, otherwise the phantasm is not going to move in and then we can't cleave it. Focus the phantasm, it needs to die really fast and it's not moving in right now. CC. Uh, normally I would be doing the last fall, but I did it earlier, I wasn't sure.
Wait, that was better for the pulling. Stuck on arrow. Stuck a bit more here, then we shouldn't get hit. Never mind. What the fuck? I think it might be based Move on the where people are. Excited, stay. If you have range DPS, you can DPS the phantasm a bit while moving away. M move out a bit. There's an AoE below the boss right now. Okay, CC. Shit. CC. Thanks. And yeah, you need to move out there. The boss is. Like, sits down and does like some attacks. Keep your head off that. Another! You can't win! Don't CC, just DPS it down. Don't stand below it, you wanna die. Get heal up. So you saw everyone saw that attack just now, okay? So that attack, sometimes throughout the fight, usually on the second Phantasm, for example, the boss will sit down and there's an AoE circle around him and he does like large cone AoEs towards the outside. That's when you can't sit below him anymore. You're gonna take a lot of damage, so you need to move out a bit. Okay, stuck. Phantasm's down. If we get the big AoEs, also focus the Phantasm that's moving in right now. Focus it while you're moving away. Give it some DPS. Okay. Now prepare to move out of it. Move out of it. Don't stand below the bus anymore. Kill the Phantasm. That's all we need to do. CC. CC. Okay, where's our game up? Hey, what's up? Come on. I fat finger my uh, after. Okay, get ready. We need to CC quickly. Most likely. 
You're not gonna make this push. So kill the phantasm, focus the phantasm this year. When it comes close. Kill it and CC. CC. A very quick CC. Good job. Okay, that's enough. Come back to the center. Just DPS it. Okay, yeah, let's do this.